Hello, how are you doing today? I feel pretty good today. It's actually nice. I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt outside. I don't know what the temperature is, but it's pretty decent. The flowers are still clinging to the trees for probably this last weekend. <sighs> I think spring might be here until it becomes winter again for another week. I don't know. Or it rains again for a week. I don't know. The weather's been the weather's been terrible so far. But today it's nice. And so I had a really nice day. I had to do a lot of dad stuff today. Um, the happy part of that was I took my daughter to see her first movie in a movie theater. And I really love movie theaters. Honestly, I think I love going to the movies more than more than anything, more than seeing a baseball game, more than playing any video game ever. I just love going to the movie theaters. I love it. And uh, Japanese movie theaters as a rule are very, very nice. I happen to work next to a pretty nice one. So I have a point card there. And since I already have a commuter pass, I can just go there for free basically anytime. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, my daughter had been asking for a while. Whew, very noisy. My daughter had been asking for a while to go to see the new uh, Detective Conan movie. Not related to Conan O'Brien or Conan Barbarian, like the, the anime, Detective Conan. And she was really eager to see it on Friday, because all the, all the posters and TV ads said Friday, you know, April 12th, Friday, April 12th. And, you know, when she was talking about it on Friday morning, I said, okay, you know, well, we can't go today. Let's talk about it later. And she got really upset. She started crying because she thought it was only playing for one day. <laughs> So I had to like tell her, no, it's fine, it's fine, we will see it. But we're not seeing it today, today you have to go to school. So once I explained it to her, and we talked about it last night, we agreed today, Saturday, would be a much better day. And we did. We went, we went to the, the train station. And of course, also speaking of new experiences, she's in first grade now, which means now she has to get a ticket to ride the train. It's not free anymore. So today was her first day of actually riding the train with a ticket. So I, I showed her how the machine works. I gave her the money. I let her put it in. I let her keep her ticket. So she got to do all that ticket stuff for the first time. And then we went to the movie theater for the first time. And she chose the snacks for the first time. We sat in the seats for the first time. And yeah, I think that she had a really good time. She was getting a little impatient, I think, at the end. It was it was longer than I expected. It was, like, well over 90 minutes. You know, for anime, I thought... I kind of figured they'd keep it short, but no. It went on, it went on for a long time. I did my best to follow the story. I got, I got the gist of it, but... There were definitely some plot points that I just did not understand because it was all in Japanese, and I can only do so much in Japanese. Uh, one weird thing, though. The whole movie took place in Singapore, so a lot of characters were speaking English, but of course, because it's a Japanese movie, all they did was they hired the usual cast of Japanese people and told them to speak English, and ugh, it was terrible. Their English, their English was terrible. Like, bad intonation, awful pronunciation, just words cut off in mid-sentence that didn't make any sense. Like, there was a legit clue. That, all these Detective Conan movies have like a mystery, right? There was a clue where a dead body wrote she, S-H-E, on a wall, and I was like, what does this mean? What does this mean? And I didn't fully understand what the payoff for that was, but I'm pretty sure the payoff was she as in a lady and she as in the sea. Because in Japanese, she and sea are pronounced exactly the same. But of course, in English, they're totally different words. They're pronounced differently. So I think the scriptwriter just didn't fucking notice or didn't care. And it's like, for me as a viewer, I'm like, what the... Why would the dying late? Why would the dying lady write S H E on a wall if she's talking about the fucking ocean? So I don't know. That kind of you know again that that shit bothered me. But Shinoa didn't care. She didn't speak English, so you know. And of course, I don't really know Detective Conan that well. So the characters show up like I have no idea who they are. There's a like karate master. He's like super strong. Like who is this guy? I thought this, I thought this show was about solving mysteries, not about karate. But apparently, there's a karate man in Detective Conan, and he does really. He's really, really super strong. But yeah, it was, um, 
she had a great time. That's what was most, most important. I hope we get to see a movie again. I'd really like to, at some point, all four of us go to see a movie, because that's never happened as of yet. So far, it's been me taking kids to the movie or me going to movies with Mako. I'd love for there to be a movie where all four of us go out and see a movie together. That'd be fun, you know? I mean, I guess the Marvel movies are probably too long for the kids, but at this point, we're already making plans for Endgame, which is in two weeks, and we're trying to figure out how we can get the get her parents to watch the kids for us, and it's like, these movies should be okay for kids, but in the case of our kids, it's just, it's just too much, and it's too long, and they don't have the patience for it, which is too bad, because I'm fucking psyched for Endgame. Oh, boy. And, yeah, that was kind of the bulk of the day. I guess I had other dad stuff, but that can wait for another time because it's been five minutes and it's getting cold. Okay. Good night, everybody. I love you.